This is a Nelson News Bulletin. Well, well, well. Are you ready for a game of musical chairs? <laughs> yes, there's going to be some changes at Congress thanks to the census. Yeah, that's right. Five out of the seven new seats will go to red states. Hmm. Well, let's go through the list. And who's the big winner? Well, <laughs> Texas. <laughs> Good old Texas gets two. Yes, Texas taking a number two on a blue state. <laughs> uh, North Carolina gets one. Colorado gets one. Oregon gets plus. These are all additions to what they've already had. So plus one, I, I should say. Uh, Oregon gets plus. So there's there's a win for a blue state. Oregon got plus one. How about that? Uh, which is kind of surprising, really. Uh, but Montana plus one, Florida plus one. Florida, oh my goodness, how can they be the most dangerous state in the union, you know? Uh, because, you know, they went with a plan of, hey, why don't we just protect the most vulnerable? Yeah. Anyway, of course, in all things, they're all losers. Right at the top of the list, California. <laughs> Uh, minus one, New York. Oh, no. Minus one, Illinois, minus one, Michigan, minus one, Ohio, minus one, West Virginia, minus one, Pennsylvania, minus one. How do you like that, Pennsylvania? Uh, gee, I wonder what happened. <laughs> you lose population when you abuse population. And there you go them's the, the results, you know? I, look, leftist ideals always ultimately fail. Uh, they collapse into ruin. Which is why there's always the lying, cheating, and stealing. Uh, that can delay the inevitable. Uh, it's just all the suffering that causes the bad part. You know, uh, will capitalism beat socialism? Yes. It always beats socialism. Capitalism is based in reality. It recognizes human nature. Socialism does not. <laughs> it tries to force itself on reality, and it's not going to work. Human nature, human nature is a aspect of reality, and uh, reality always wins. So that's why the aspects of capitalism uh, will win. Uh, that's because again, recognizes human nature, and that's going to continue. So after in all the tattered ruins that uh, the left burns down to the ground. Uh, in the end, you're still just going to have men and women getting together to raise children, and you're going to have to work for a living. And, you know, those things, <laughs> nothing will change that. And uh, But this, the sad part about it is all the unnecessary suffering that the left will rot as they lie, cheat, and steal. And uh, that's the threat. Uh, yes, they could burn it all down. And some of us uh, could go through it, and uh, yes, you can take some... Uh, uh, consolation and knowing, knowing that uh, you know your ideals will stand the test of time, but it's a good possibility you won't live long enough to see the glorious return. <laughs> so that's the scary part. But ultimately, it fails. Actor LeVar Burton was on the View apparently, a parroting the the current uh, explanation and uh, excuse for cancel culture, and that it's actually consequence culture. Well, aren't there consequences? Yes. Oh, boy, karma's a bitch, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> so what comes around goes around, I suppose. And you never think of it that way, I guess. Uh, speaking of LeVar Burton and actors and everything, uh, Hollywood just had their Oscars. How'd that go? This has been a Nelson News Bulletin.